What's going on everybody? With all these cold fronts moving through, hoodie weather's starting to come out more and it's time to bust out your cold weather fragrances. You know, mid-fall, late fall, early winter, mid-winter, late winter. All the beautiful things that you like to wear as it starts to cool down, especially depending on what part of the climate in the country you're, or which part of the world really, not just the country, that you're in and just how cold it is for you right now. So today I've got 10 that I consider must-haves based off of, you know, just my opinion and the stuff that I like to wear. And I want to talk to you about them today. So stay tuned. And with the first one, this is one that's kind of recent to my collection. I did do a full review not that long ago on this one. I'll actually put that video right there if you want to check it out. It's from Roberto Cavalli. It's Womo, the original in the line. I've yet to get La Note. I hear that one's great. I have Womo Silver Essence. That one's beautiful as well. But man, this is such a good sweet fragrance. God, it smells so good. It really does. It's extremely powerful. If you're into sweet fragrances like I am, there's going to be several sweet fragrances in this video, a couple floral fragrances, and, you know, it's just, it's that time of year, you know, when it's cooling off, that's when it's a lot easier to wear these cooler fragrances because when it's hot outside, these, these sweet fragrances tend to get, uh, get real cloying, you know, they can be a little bit much, and uh, can, you can kind of choke yourself out, let alone people around you, with these powerful sweet fragrances and Roberto Cavalli Womo is definitely a powerful and sweet fragrance. It's got a beautiful, beautiful honey note in it. And like I said, powerful, long lasting, strong projector, and very, very cheap. You can have this one for under 30 bucks, right around 20, low 20s for 100 milliliters and 50 milliliter bottles. All kinds of discounters online. Make sure to check this one out. During this cold weather season, during the fall and winter, I strongly urge you, if you haven't tried it yet, check it out. Because it's new for me this year, worn it a few times already, and I'm definitely going to be pulling it out a lot more the rest of the year. Along with pulling out those sweet fragrances, it's time to pull out those boozy fragrances as well. Mugler, pure malt. This is a stud in the cold weather. A lot of people love this one. Oh man, and for good reason. A boozy, sweet, patchouli fragrance. Still performs well, even though they've been reformulated. The boxes no longer say Terry Mugler on them anymore. They just say Mugler. There was a buyout that happened last year and all these different things. But, uh, you know, it's still a great fragrance. You can still find them for a pretty decent price. They're affordable at discounters. They're not extreme, you know, jacked up prices, but they're not super cheap either. Um, definitely don't pay retail for this stuff. It's not worth retail in my opinion, but for what you can get them for at discounters in the 40, 50 ish dollar range, pure malt's definitely worth it and a staple in the cooler weather and one that I'm thrilled to be able to start pulling out more. Check it out if you're into boozy fragrances and you gotta like patchouli because that's the Amen bread and butter. And that's Mugler, Amen, pure malt. Next, this is definitely a personal favorite of mine and one that I have not been pulling out that I plan on pulling out this very week. Uh, absolutely love, love, love Iris fragrances. And this is one of the best on the market. It's from Dior. It's the original Dior Homme. It's still one of the best Iris fragrances money can buy. I'll argue with anybody. Oh, man. A little bit more balanced than the Parfum and the Intense with this having less sweetness with a tad bit, you know, the leather stands out more than the sweetness. Whereas with the Parfum, it's a lot more leather and less sweetness. And with the Intense, it's a lot more sweetness and a lot less leather. This really rounds it off and kind of balances the note breakdown and what Dior Homme's all about. This is arguably the best one. Don't get me wrong, I love the Parfum. If I had to pick just one, probably going to lean to the Parfum, but this is a very close second in its own line. The original Dior Homme is just a Iris Lover's fragrance. This is an enthusiast fragrance. This is because not everybody likes floral notes in men's fragrances, especially dominating floral notes like an Iris-based fragrance, which this is. It's classy, it's elegant, it's unique, and it's beautiful. And it performs, at least on my skin, performs very well. Seven to eight hour fragrance. 
solid projection for the first two hours and then you know low, moderate to low scent bubble following for a few hours after great fragrance if you can find a good price on them get a bottle this is a big five ounce bottle that's Dior Homme the original now this came out in the spring early spring and I did I think I did a full review yeah I did a full review on it uh, it's one of the newer releases from Happy Land Studios uh, and it just got hot not long after it came out and I couldn't really wear it because it's a it's a sweet boozy fragrance and that's just ideal for colder weather and we're talking about El Gudo from Happy Land Studios now is the time to pull this one out this is one of my favorite fragrances from Happy Land oh man that apple brandy smell and the fruit the fruity notes in here I believe grape is a dominant note in here I don't know if the purple label tricks me into thinking I'm smelling grape I definitely smell the apple I smell the brandy but I smell grapes as well I just do I don't know how many of you that have tried this get that too it's super powerful x straight to parfum like all of EJ's fragrances you know you're looking at 10 plus hours on everything he makes 12 hours plus on most this is definitely 10 plus hours projects very heavy and as you saw by that big giant mist you don't need a lot of sprays two sprays from these atomizers is equivalent to like four or five sprays out of most other atomizers if not more for some potent and like i said if you like sweet boozy you need to try el gudo from happy land studios one of my top three favorites from the house and would probably be yours if you get your hands on a sample pack once again that's el gudo happy land studio now don't get me wrong i do like the newest release in the Polo Red line, the Eau de Parfum. I thought I would like it less than I actually ended up liking it. It grew on me very quickly, and I actually feel like it was a pretty good release for the line. But if I had to choose one, especially for the cooler weather, I still say the Intense is more well-rounded. Cranberry and coffee sweetness, projection, longevity, high compliment factor. This is a great fragrance. Don't get me wrong, the Eau de Parfum smells really good. I have not tried the Extreme. I know some of you right now are saying, oh God, what about the Extreme? I haven't tried the Extreme. Eventually I'll get my hands on one. Um, I'll, I keep my eye on them and next time I'm going around buying, I might grab the Extreme as well. But for right now, I can tell you based off of personal experience, the Intense is a wonderful compliment machine. For the cooler weather i thoroughly enjoy it it's very playful don't get me wrong a lot of younger men are going to be wearing the polo red line and red intense goes right along with it it's a very youthful fruity smell but that coffee just adds an extra layer to it adds some more depth and the performance is definitely there and you can get them for a really good price from discounters online and i just think it's fantastic for mid to late fall on into the winter cold weather it's hard to beat especially for you younger guys you younger guys that are watching Try Polo Red Intense. It might be a staple in your collection for this cold, the cold weather season that we have going on, on into next year. Polo Red Intense. Try it out. Arguably the best in the line. I have not tried the newest release, the Extreme, but in my opinion, it's pretty hard to beat the Eau de Parfum, Guerlain L'Homme Ideal. The cherry note with that beautiful almond. A little bit of leather in the background, but... Man, 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 you want to talk about a sexy and seductive fragrance for the cold weather. Look no further than Guerlain L'Homme Ideal Eau de Parfum. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Yes, the bottle has changed. The new bottles, they don't paint the sides anymore. Uh, the caps are just the only thing painted and the labels. They actually don't even have the print on the other side of the labels anymore either. Because I do have some of the older style. Bo same bottle, they just changed how they paint them now. But the juice is the same. As far as I know, they haven't been reformulated. It's still perform it's still an eight hour fragrance on my skin. It still projects pretty heavy for almost three hours. Then it starts to sit pretty close to the skin. It's a great fragrance. You can get 50 mLs for a really good price. 100 mLs are still in that $40, $50 range, which is still affordable. Not really expensive, but technically not a cheapy either. But it's kind of a must have. It's a lot easier to get than the, in the Intense. Because the Lintense is its own thing. That's more smoky leather, where this is more sweet cherry. If you like sweet fragrances and you want to try something different with a prominent cherry note to go with the creamy almond, check out L'Homme Ideal, the Eau de Parfum. This is a banger right here. Now, you'll notice in this video there's a lot of sweet fragrances. And that's for good reason, because like I said early on, 
this is the time of year when you can start pulling those out more. I haven't really been able to wear a lot of sweet fragrances because I live in South Texas and it's hot a lot. So sweet fragrances get cloying most months. So when it starts to cool down, it's time to start pulling out things like Salvatore Ferragamo Wombo and get that chocolate cake tiramisu smell going. Oh man, I just, I really enjoy sweet fragrances. My wife really enjoys sweet fragrances. That's what makes wearing stuff like this easy for me. It's enjoyable. I like desserts. I have a sweet tooth. This is a sweet tooth type of fragrance. And it's a performer and it's cheap. 30 bucks will get you a 100 milliliter bottle at rack stores, discounters online, Fragrance Net, all these different places, Fragrance X, you name it. It's easy to find. It performs. It smells great as long as you like sweet gourmand style fragrances because this is a heavy gourmand. And it wears kind of heavy too, don't get me wrong. But it's really hard to beat if you're into gourmands for the price, you know. Once again, Salvatore Ferragamo, the original Womo. Now, I know a lot of people really enjoy Armani Code Absolute. I understand. I do too. That's a dominant vanilla and tonka bean fragrance. Compliment Machine, super, super powerful. It's beast mode fragrance. It's great. But I'm more excited to pull out Profumo, to be completely honest with you. A little bit more leather going in this one. This one's still super sweet, but not as sweet as Absolute. Absolute is almost sickeningly sweet to an extent. You got to really, really be in the mood for some vanilla and powdery tonka bean. And don't get me wrong, there's plenty of powdery tonka bean here, but I find this is more of a powdery chocolatey leather than it is the powdery vanilla that Absolute has. This is kind of like a Kind of like a powdered chocolate donut almost is what it kind of comes off of on my skin. Has some gourmand qualities to it for sure, even though it's not a gourmand fragrance. Uh, but super powerful. It's a parfum concentration. I um, forgot what year I got this. I've had it for a little while. It's my little 30ml bottle. Uh, I don't need a lot of sprays. I force spray it and that's good. Big massive scent bubble. Kind of another one that's a compliment machine. Powerhouse. Super long lasting. Worth every penny, I advise you. If you're just gonna get one Armani code and you live in a colder climate or you're just ready for the cold weather, give it a shot. You know, Absolute gets all the hype, but don't let Profumo get overshadowed because in my opinion, it's better than Absolute. Second Iris fragrance in the video, different line, Prada Lome, the intense. We can't talk colder weather without one of my absolute favorite fragrances to wear in colder weather. Iris, soapy powdery iris, leather, patchouli, it's kind of a moist patchouli, performance, checks all the boxes for me. This is one of the best designer fragrances on the market in my opinion. I have two bottles of this to ensure that I never run out because when it cools off this is kind of a dumb reach fragrance for me or smart reach however you want to look at it. It's easy that if we're about to run out the house and I have not sprayed anything on yet, it's easy to look up on my shelf and say, mmm, and just grab this. Because it just works. You can dress it down, you can dress it up. It has a classy elegance to it, as most iris fragrances do. But it's not overly classy because that patchouli really adds another level to it, an extra layer to where it kind of works better. It still works well with a hoodie like I'm wearing right now. It just works it's a beautiful fragrance and it's a must have for the cooler weather. Hell, that's why it's in this video. Prada Lome, intense. Last but not least, with all the hype surrounding the newest releases, can't forget about the base DNA. It's still one of my favorite fragrances, even though the new flankers are wonderful. Of course, I'm talking about from Zaharoff, Signature Pour Homme. When it starts to cool down is when I like to wear it the most, as I've said many times before. Beautiful lavender, a lot of dense woods, some beautiful frankincense, that resinous myrrh. It's really warming on my skin. This fragrance warms me when I spray it on. It's ideal in cooler to cold weather. Fantastic with a suit, as I've mentioned many times when speaking about this fragrance. This is my favorite fragrance to wear with a suit. It just smells of class. It smells like the man. You know what I mean? And don't get me wrong, Noir and Royale gorgeous fragrances but this is still going to be getting just as much run if not more than the new flankers will because like i said it's one of my favorite fragrances that's why it's 
got such a dent in the bottle because you see my bottles I have so many I don't get to wear certain things over and over and over Ta a lot of time passes between wearings on fragrances I try to wear this one pretty regularly because I love it so much get your bottle if you haven't already there's a link down in the description below or you can check out the new flankers and that's Zaharoff signature pour on well folks that's my 10. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. How many of these do you have and you have been eager to pull these out and start wearing them again? It's just been too hot in your area. And now that these cool fronts are starting to move in, you can start busting them out. And that's exactly what's going on with me. I'm pretty excited to pull some of these fragrances out. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of the fragrances discussed in this video and you give them a spray now, I'm pretty confident you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys. Mm -hmm.